I said it out there, I could not be more proud of our team. We've had a tough stretch in the last week playing, you know, two really good teams. And I just, uh, I love our grit, I love our fight. I thought we were better today than we were at NC State. Some of the, the things that we needed to clean up, we did. Uh, you know, we had 14 turnovers in the first half. We don't have any in the, the third quarter. We go up and then we have five in the, in the fourth quarter. It's tough, you know, it's tough to give possessions to a team uh, as, as good as Marquette. They're so well coached. Um, but I, this is gonna help us. I, I really believe this and I said it last week and, and if we're gonna get a big signature win, dang it, I, I want it in March, uh, not in December. I told the girls in the huddle, uh, our women, uh, no one cares, no one remembers an upset in December, but, but you, you are well known and that uh, uh, upset in March lives forever. I think we're pretty good, <laughs> you know. I uh, I think we're on pace, you know. Early on, I told the, I told all you guys this team has a ton of potential, and we're slowly figuring it out. Uh, you know, we have a lot of new faces. You know, they had two four, uh, fifth year seniors. Jordan King has started over 140 games. Had two senior starters. Uh, you know, we had uh, you know freshmen out there. You know, first year players for us. Uh, you know, we're just getting started, but I think the connectivity that I saw with our team in the grit, uh, that's going to pay off dividends. And I, I love this team. I love those 13 young women that are in that locker room, and, and I know they're destined to do some really special things. Kristen, you feel like Marquette did anything about the midway part of the fourth quarter to kind of change the momentum and come back on you? No, nah, they hit some tough shots. Uh, Scott Gillespie had this scout. We knew everything that they ran. There was one play that we did not know, and we got it the first time that they ran it. Uh, our players, for the most part, bought into the scouting report. We said whoever wins the, the last 12 seconds of the, of the shot clock on both ends. I knew we were going to guard their initial actions really well, and they hit some tough ones, and, and we didn't get great looks or we turned it over. But, you know, those are growing pains, and that's the difference between being a ranked opponent or, or falling, a, you know, a bucket short. Like Coach G said, it just shows the potential we have, like, losing to NC State and then this loss. Like, it's just like we're just steady growing. Like, defensively, we're steady growing. We're buying into the scout. We're learning terminology. We're just trying to be better for each other. I think that's all you can ask for your teammates. Ryan, what are you feeling right now as far as a mixture of pride and how well the team's played versus the disappointment of not being able to win? Yeah, I mean, I hate losing as much as everybody else on the team, but I was really proud of how we shared the ball. And I just thought, like Coach said, like our, our huddles were really tight. And, you know, she talks a lot about when we get punched, like how we respond. And I thought we never, you know, fell back down and we we always got back up and you know it's tough to lose by two to a really good team and there's definitely things we can work on but you know like she said in December nobody's going to remember this but it's just going to help us build and and we'll learn a lot from it so coach you think the uh, the crowd helped you guys out a little bit today it was awesome you know and i just i can't thank our marketing efforts uh, Lauren Henderson Dan Danny Bug I mean, this is, these young women deserve to play in, a, in front of a crowd like that. I, I think we've done the work in, I don't know, I think we're easy to get behind. And I just, if you haven't seen us, please come out. But I, I just, that's a huge difference because there was, when we were up, I mean, they were in it. Um, my greatest hope is that the remaining are home games, I think we have 11 left, if I'm not mistaken, uh, are this atmosphere, this environment. Yeah, we were going for the win, and that's what we, we said. We're not playing for overtime, and um, we knew. We, we thought one of two things were going to happen. We, they, we were going to smack them on the screen and see was going to be open for a three, and we have the utmost confidence in her, or they were both going to run, and Kate's going to pop, and we practice this all the time, and I mean, she had a heck of a look. You know, that thing was in and out, but it just it didn't go in. But I couldn't be more proud, I mean, because Kate struggled at NC State shooting the ball. She, she stepped up and, I mean, she looked like a shooter. And that's what her teammates had confidence in. 
she's going to make it when it matters. And I just, I thought our special situation, the two plays we ran, we ran them to perfection. Deanna gets a great catch, Maya great read. Uh, when Maya gets fouled, man, I thought that sucker was down, buddy. Uh, but it didn't, you know, and it, it is what it is. We got a little luck with the free throws, them missing free throws. But our execution when it, we needed was was really good. It's just those moments in the in the fourth quarter, the first four minutes, or, uh, first four minutes of the fourth quarter, we were a little shaky. Um. I honestly don't have an answer for you. I just don't want to fail. <laughs> Gosh. I, I just, I, don't fail. I always tell Dee her, her, her <laughs> worth is her, she's a little bit more valuable. She's a phenomenal cheerleader, and she's a great <laughs> team player. But I, I like when she's on the floor for us. Abby also struggled a little bit early on this year, but for her to hit the shots that she hit today, was any better? Yeah, I mean, we need her. I mean, that, that's the thing. Like, we need her, we need, you know, everyone that plays, they, they, they're such a critical piece to our puzzle. You know, we all have very different roles, but every role is so important. It just takes a little stress off C, you know, to, to get shots. I thought Maya hunted her shot uh, well, uh, because she is, she, she can really stretch the floor and she puts in a ton of work. So I'm glad she had some success and saw some go in. No, it's just, you know, Dee's not in foul trouble. You know, we have two seniors. They're playing all seniors. It's nothing against Sav. It's just they're pretty perimeter-focused post players. That's a tough guard sometimes, you know, for, for post players. You know, and, and that's the tough thing, and that's a tough thing for young people to understand. It is very much matchup driven at times. Um, you know, we got a game against St. Louis. It could look very different, um, but we just thought our best spot because they picked and popped a lot, not to put her in a position where she had a closeout to a three and in guard on the perimeter. So, but. Yes, uh, uh, Lexi Bowles has stepped away from uh, the team, and Taylor Veach is dealing with uh, a family uh, health issue that she went home for the weekend. So. Just these two games, Penn State, Marquette, now we have one more game, I believe, before conference play. Where do you see your team? How, is this where you guys thought you would be? Yeah, I mean... We knew these two games were going to be tough. You know, the Green Bay game, I would like to get back. We weren't at full strength, you know, but they were, you know, we lost. Um, the next one is big. The next one sets the tone for us, you know. We have a nice break coming up. We, we send our players home for five or six days, and then the real season starts. So uh, what I love about this week, we get a couple days off to regroup. They're, I know our young women will be studying hard. Uh, and then, you know, we'll be ready for St. Louis. Very good, well-coached team. But I like where we're at. We still, the great thing about this team is we're nowhere near our ceiling. You know, and that was the tough thing. I think last year, you know, we may have hit our ceiling a little early. We, we have no I don't think this team knows even where the ceiling is. And that's, that's a lot of fun because they're just buying into what we're doing and they're hungry. You watch our SIUE game, like, it's such a big difference in how we guarded them to how we guard it now. Like, it's, it's just so many things that everybody's buying into. Practices are so much fun, like the game's so much fun. And once again, it's the crowd. They, they definitely got us going, but at the same time, it's playing for each other. Like, we're just all buying in. Like OG said, we're not, we're not, we're not hitting our ceiling yet, but we're, we're getting there. Like, it's going to be a tough, a tough thing to stop Illinois State women's basketball team in about a month. What she said. February. Mic drop. Mic drop. Yep. <laughs> Fellas, thank you so much for coming. Really appreciate it.